Hey, Jim Monkey friends, it is Sonia with another special edition all the way from Lassie, Newfoundland, my, my home back to my roots here this week, having some fun. So today I get to have some fun right here in my house, my mom's house, and uh, get to do something for her, get to give back to her. So today I am painting her brownie frowny hutch, as you can see behind me. She's cleaned it all out for me. The hardware, Matt and Dad have worked to take the hardware off, which is kind of nice really to have all these watching. assists these assistants. Hey, Jaden. And so anyway, this is, we've got a table we're going to work on today. She usually keeps this covered. This is a brownie frowny table and you can see just things happen like heat, heat damage and things like that. So we're going to totally give it some new love today. And she's also got four chairs, which we've got the seats taken off of. So these are ready to get some love. And you know what I mean? After the, you know, all the meals and all the love that's happened at the table, you start to see signs of wear and tear. And it's so nice to be able to go, don't throw that stuff out. Just wait till I get home and I'll paint it and we'll give it a whole new life, right? So my mother likes very traditional colors, okay? So I let her pick whatever color she wants and she just wants something in a nice, classy, classic black. And so I'm going to tell you because you, if you've followed me on here, I've always told you that one thing growing up in my house and that I've definitely seen and picked up from my mom is that, you know what, just a fresh coat of paint can make a room feel completely different. So my entire life of growing up uh, in this house was, you know, every season, you know, just seeing new colors on the wall and things like that. Because at the end of the day, you can, you have total control to change your space and how it feels and all the seasons. And maybe you just get tired of something, right? And so uh, as many times as she likes to put new colors on the walls, change up the decorations, it is nice to have those staple pieces that are in those traditional timeless colors. So I totally know what she's going for here. But yes, I always say to you guys, and in fact, this week I said on my page that if you have no idea what color to paint your furniture, go with a classic black. I'm serious. It's kind of like, you know, when you, for us ladies, when we have a classic black outfit, you can jazz it up with all the jewelry that you want, change the vibe of it. But classic black just looks really good on even furniture too. So I'm going to use my weapon of choice is going to be our all natural milkshake milk paint. The reason why we call it a milkshake pop quiz here is because when it's made, the paint is the consistency of a milkshake, right? And you also have control to thin it out, thicken it up, whatever you want to do, but it should be a nice, like, malt milkshake, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. I I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I you get some say, color outs. I got to say hi to Heike Amaro. Go for it. Who is checking in from my family homeland in Switzerland. Ooh. So, there Come you go. Far. I think nice. I think she's the first Swiss we had on here. Really? Yeah. There you go. We have all over. We don't have any Swiss. So I'm going to go with one third. Basically, when you're mixing up our all natural uh, milk paint, you do equal parts. And so whatever you pull out of the bag, equally do with the water. Pretty easy, right? One to one ratio. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start with one third of a cup. And then I got some water from the tap. And I'm going to do the same thing on here. We have a Canadian collection on our uh, yes, website. Yes, ships to Canada. We, we yep. ship milk paint. Yep, absolutely. Which is what I'm using today. Yep. Yep. So now I found a mason jar in Mom's cupboard. Love me some mason jars. Who out there is a mason jar lover? And all the things that you can do, right? So now I'm stirring it up. Yep, sounds good. So now I'm just, I found a stir stick. Heck yeah, just the basics, right? And what's really amazing is that just with water and with our really rich um, pigments, you're able to make your own paint really, really quickly. So I don't have my little whisk with me today. I forgot to pack that part. So if you're getting milk paint, it's always nice to get that little whisk. If there, it's only like right around $2 or so, $2 and change even. Um, but you have it and you keep it in your, and you just kind of like wash it after it's used, right? But look, immediately we have this beautiful, do you guys see this beautiful black paint? Like, oh my gosh, classic timeless black. So what happens is in the very first, um, first like 10 minutes, all the water activates all the pigments and everything disperses evenly and you get a beautiful, rich, oh my gosh, beautiful, rich paint right there. Okay. So done that easy. So I just know that if I were to walk away and come back over the next 10 minutes is when it really starts to set up. So you can judge for yourself if you want to add a little extra water to it, if that's a good consistency for you, I'm happy with that. If I feel like it starts to thicken up more, I've got my water in standby, right? Easy peasy. So we're going to knock this out today. Do a little bit of painting. We are in a different time zone today. So we are, uh, did it feel kind of weird, Matt? Like the hour and a half difference? For um, me, it did. I could tell. I don't know because I was like awake driving for two days. So <laughs> it's crazy. all just crazier yeah. than even you were. Time becomes relative. So you might already see some dust on this piece, and it's because I already.
already started balking it, okay? So here's the thing that you need to know when we talk about milk paint, is that milk paint um, is the spontaneous, it's the spontaneous Miss Petunia, okay? You see the little girl monkey on the package, doing the handstand, paintbrush in her tail, upside down, holding a milkshake. It's because she can't sit still, okay? She does all kinds of fun stuff. And so the fun stuff usually does stuff like crackling, uh, chipping, you know, flaking. She does all kinds of stuff, but she's completely spontaneous. So yeah. with this piece, my mom said, if you want to do some of that distressing, you can go ahead. So she's giving me full creative control over that part. So I'm going to have some fun with it today, right? We're going to go with a classic black, but let's go ahead and play up a little bit of that brownie frowny because my mom does have wood here throughout her house. And so I think it's going to be okay to allow some of that to come through and uh, it'll tie in really, really nicely, right? So this is what I like brownie frowny. It's when you get to play up the brownie frowny, add some pink color to it, and just make it work so well together. So I am grabbing a coarse grit sand pad. They're on our website at jumpmonkeypaint.com. And so because I don't want everything to fall off of it, right, and it does have a bit of a shine to this piece, what I want to do is make sure I buff it really well. So this is like when I go to get my nails done and they buff your nails, they're not taking your nails off. They're not taking that off, right? They do a quick little buff, right, before they paint. The reason why they do it is it grabs the paint even more. So Miss Petunia, while, she, while I don't have my extra bond with me, which is something I could put in into there, it just kind of like makes her calm down a little bit more, right? And maybe do a little bit more as she's told. I'm gonna actually help the process by doing a little bit of buffing so that way it will help the paint stay where it's supposed to stay and Miss Petunia will sit down, okay? So I've started this process, but when I tell you guys that just buff your piece before you start, do you see what's happening? You can see if you came up close here, but basically, there was like maybe like a veneer of some sort on the outside of this that protected it. I am just basically breaking it, right? I'm breaking that veneer, breaking that seal on it, and that way it's going to, Miss Petunia is going to go on here, and uh, I'm going to feel like I have more control over it because now we've exposed the wood, and it's going to be more thirsty to accept the paint, right? Versus Miss Petunia falling off on the floor. So, but it is always a gamble when you use milk paint. So my mother's probably going to be sneaking a peek and trying to watch this now from work. And being like, what? I haven't seen her yet. Yeah, if right. you see her, you'd be like, you can't be on yeah. here. We'll see. Because, you know, Facebook tells, right? Facebook tells all. So if she's going to try to pretend that she's not on here, we're going to know. Because I'm personal friends with my mother. And you get to see who on your personal friends is joining in. So she might not know that, right? Who wants to win? I think we should have a big giveaway. Let's do it. Yeah, whatever you want. Who wants to win 40 big banana bucks? Holy moly, you're going big today. 40 big banana bucks. Oh, I mean, that's big bananas. People say we get to see Matt. Not too much. You just see my reflection. I'm telling you. He's the international man of mystery. So if you want 40 big banana bucks, share and then comment below. And then you pick one at the end. Or something like that. And what's the deal? Huh? What's the deal? Well, you have to email us before midnight. At? Get monkey tank at gmail.com. See you guys. Just before because midnight. we have a lot of new people on our page, we want to make sure everybody's on the same boat. Everybody's in the same boat, you know? Yep. So we'd like two fairies. Everybody's in the same fairy. There we go. <laughs> like that. Alright, who's excited to see this? Now I will do the inside as well. Hold on a second. But I'm going to start with the outside. Get rid of some of this dust. Let me go here. I'm going here. Holy banana box. <laughs> Yay! Alright, looks good. Alright, let's check in on our paint. Kind of like made my paint while I was doing that process. Let's come take a look at it together right here. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Beautiful, beautiful paint. So like I said, you can decide how thick you want it. But I think that's pretty well. I'll start painting with it and see if I'm happy with that consistency because I have full control over that, okay? So let me lay that over here. Got shabby chip brush. And now I'll go right into my paint and there we go. You ready guys? Are you ready? Still need help using mine. Can't get it to work. I did email you. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to have to get to the email. Tell, but, yeah, I'm not sure. But we are, be aware, we're in the middle of North Atlantic. So 
Um, yes. I'm not sure what we didn't get to work. I think I've gotten back to it to everybody, yeah. but if I yeah. missed your email, feel free to email us again. But in terms of getting it to work, so there, the, there's really like, there's nothing that you have to do. Because remember, Miss Petunia, she's in control of whatever she wants to do. So you have to know that if you're using a surface that's not glossy, then maybe she doesn't want to chip and fall on flake, right? So then you can make her misbehave by throwing in some chippy hippy. But to make her sit down, especially if you're on a piece that does have some, um, you know, that it is, that is super glossy, then you're going to have to do what I just did, which is, you know, add some um, friction to the piece so that way she has something to hold on to when she does sit down. So you just kind of have to think about your surface because that's going to be the only difference between what I'm painting and what you're painting is this, but you just have to know how it works. So Okay, recap, sense. recap. Oh, that's pretty. Recap, uh, we're at Sonia's home in uh, Newfoundland, and we are redoing a Mom's Hutch in Jump Monkey Milkshake Milk Paint. So we mixed paint, we buffed the piece with a little sand, uh, sand yeah. block, and now we're painting. Yep, yeah, you got it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So. What do you guys think? Can you already see the difference already starting to happen? Hopefully the camera's picking that up for you guys. Yeah, I'm just plugged in right now. I'm getting a little juice. All right. Getting a little juice, juice. Yeah, how do we manage to leave without uh, um, taking all of our chargers, right? We <laughs> have our car charger, but the thing is, now that we actually reached the island, we're not sitting in the car, so we're everybody. When you feel like you're running on like low battery all the time, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> it's not a good feeling. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm not going to tape off this glass, honestly. All of our paint products are water-based, and so what that means is at the end of the day, all I have to do is just take some hot water and a paper towel, or if mom has like some Lysol wipes or something like that around here, it'll come right off. So I don't fret over painted glass. Um, you know, that's not at all anything that I need to worry about. And it will dry to a nice flat mat. Yes. And then we can seal it after, it's, right? It smells like milk over here. Yeah. Yep, it's made with milk. Will you leave the inside or paint it? No, we no, won't leave the inside. It. I think I'm going to paint it. Mom took out her stuff. She decided we're going to paint the inside. And there's a lot of glass in there. What's that? Are you talking to me or are you uh, reading a comment? Mm. Are you talking to me or reading a comment? No, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? Tonight, uh, I'm cooking tonight. I'm probably going to do, I think I'm going to do dumplings and I'm going to do a halluski with some uh, sausage in it. So we had a big cook dinner last night. What are you doing, Sadie? Just sitting there watching. Just sitting there watching. Julianne and Sadie are joining us this morning, doing a little bit of art. Maybe Juliana will show them the... Uh, the painting we did together last night. Huh? We sat down, Juliana took control of everything, mm. and uh, we knocked it a beautiful piece together. Mm. Let's see here. We love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys seeing the change already? So, mom's at work up at the tea room in the museum today, taking care of guests, and we are here at the house. And before she comes back today, I will have her hutch and her table painted and her four chairs. And also, I'm planning to possibly reupholster the chair seats and, uh, you know, change it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think her mom would uh, be too hot to trot on chicken wire. What's that? <laughs> no, she has a different sort of feel for her house. Yeah, right? is it knowing your mom? Yeah. Yeah, you might get disowned. <laughs> I don't think that would happen, but... What does the hi chippy hippie happy. juice do? The it's like sugar for milk paint. Yeah. <clears throat> chippy hippie causes a resist. Yep. The reaction happens and your paint basically pulls apart from where you put it. I actually just did a video last week on uh, our YouTube channel. So if you want to see it in action, go to YouTube Junk Monkey Paint Company. Search over there. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get all the videos. And then from there, you can just search Chippy Hippie, or if you look back through the videos that I've done over the last two weeks, 
you'll see an amazing video over there where I, I do it right in front show. of your eyes, so you can check it out. <clears throat> Ooh, this is pretty. So I like allowing a little bit of that brownie frowny to come through. Yes, I like to paint my uh, paint with my doors closed, and then I'll open them in just a little bit and do that. But are you guys seeing the beautiful? No, you put it on either before you paint, or you put it on after the first coat, depending on what you want. Yeah, the, the layer here. that you want to make uh, make go weird. Okay, the layer that you want some spontaneous, spontaneous weirdness going down. You lay it right down. It's like giving, giving your surface uh, something before you put the paint down, right? But it only works with our milk paint. So you got to make sure that you use that together. And it's our all natural line. Uh, for painting cast iron, uh, all you have to do is use the regular junk monkey paint, and that'll work for you. The original recipe chalky style? Yes. Yep. Junk monkey original. You got it. So what's everybody saying today? Uh, everybody's working and they're they're uh, you know they're watching your work so oh, nice. there's been a massive loss of productivity across the nation because of you. <laughs> Way to go, Sonny. Thanks. Way to go. Living my dreams, man. Yeah. Living my dreams. Yeah. You, you're giving your fellow HR professionals nightmares. Breaking America. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> so yeah, we're still up. we're in still in Canada until the end of the week. Okay. All right. Look around. Oh, so guys, what do you think from what you can see so far? Isn't it like black is a nice color? Like I say, it's just classy and classic, and it's gonna be beautiful. It looks pretty right now. You like it, Sadie? Yeah. Thank you. Who decided for the chip? Uh, for the milk paint, you or your mother? Who what? Decide for the milk paint, you or your mother? Mom actually picked this color. Okay. Yep. Uh, with this one, we just buffed it. With regular junk monkey, there is no sanding. With milk paint, we want to stick a little bit better, so we buffed it a bit. Yeah, you can sand any pieces, especially if it's, if it's like any sort of gloss to it, because that's just going to help your paint um, adhere a little bit better, right? Because you're breaking the seal that's on it. It is black soot. Yes, it is. People are liking the contrast between the black and the wood inside. Good. We'll check it out. I'm here painting a brownie fry with the coal, smoky coal, first coat on. Yay. But I need a light second coat. Yeah. Hang on. I got to see what the rest of this is. Yeah, sometimes Facebook hides comments. Yeah, and it gives me this whole thing where it shows the smiley face. Yeah, which, the, yeah I know. Yeah, so you I get a reaction that. on yours. It's nothing personal. Yeah, it's not letting me see what the rest of the question is, to be honest with you. Yeah, somebody asked something that's a little bit longer. A couple yeah, I can't see it. it. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Facebook. How many scoops did she use for the big piece? What, one how, third of a cup so one far. One third of a cup so far. Yeah. So we tell people that, you know. Um, yeah, she is one Canadian. Large piece, yeah, one large piece to, um, to a package of paint. Absolutely, Shirley. There you go. It's, uh, like this is that. our milk paint. Will you seal with wax or poly on this one? Um, I am probably going to seal with, I'm thinking the, whatever I match to the table, right? So I'm thinking I'm going to do, since I'm doing a table, I'm always going to seal in um, banana peel. Mm. So I'll probably just take that same and carry it over, even though this really doesn't need to be done in the same, um, or in poly, because again, this is a piece that's decorative, right? It looks pretty and it holds all the collectibles and glass items and things like that. So, um, it's up to you what you seal with. You can go either way, Susan, but I'll just go with banana Susan peel. wants to know, yes. she needs help, if she does a second coat, yeah. if she waters it down, will it reactivate, I guess, what's underneath, or will it be okay? Yeah, it'll be It'll be, be okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It smells. It smells like milk. Yep. It smells like fish. Yeah. Really? Fish? <laughs> We're in Newfoundland, everything smells like fish. <laughs> I don't 
like fish. <laughs> you don't like fish. No. But you do like Uncle Matt's cooking, don't you? Yes. I love yes, that. you do. <laughs> yes, yeah, like that. Uh, all right, let's get this little edge right here. So I'm gonna continue to work around, but yeah, when I do my, when I make up my paint, I only do what I need as I go. Um, because that's the cool thing about the um, milk paint that comes in the powder form that we have that you it can, you know it lasts indefinitely as long as it doesn't get hot or cold and you can activate it with what you need right so I'm gonna let all this dry and then I can stress some from, more uh, Hemian's Newfoundland Hemian's Newfoundland I don't, know, yeah, where I don't know where that is no I don't know where that is don't know you have to tell us there you go. All right. What? I'm just going to step in front of you right here. Sure. Okay, guys. So I am going to go ahead and work on the sides, let this dry, see if I got everything, and then continue to work on the table and the chairs. As Matt said, for those of you who are joining she us. She said it's on West Coast. I oh, she's on West Coast Canada for sure. I still see Can I use a chalk Is this base? cool? Yeah. And milk over it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can. Can you use what? Uh, milk over chalk. Yeah. Chalk base. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yep. I know I'm in the sh shot. I am kind of aware of that. Earlier I was in the shot a lot. So this is, you get to see me. I'm reflecting. All right. As I'm taking the shot. See? Look. See, we're reflecting. Here. Raise the sunshine right there. Look, look, yes. Look. Okay. That was just weird. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Can you, got an audience you use the paper travel you. Uh, trailer cabinets? Yeah, you can use the, the chalky style. Uh, can somebody respond back to Kelly? Yes, you can. Uh, just go through. Uh, just go through the uh, the archive of videos. Can somebody answer because she's she's deaf and actually. Uh, Actually, let me try to do that. What does she need? Uh, for Kelly, what yes, she for? you can. There are different tutorials. Making sure I get all the edges. And then we're going to open. Thanks see you the brown but match. Yep. Yep. Yeah, looks good so far, huh? Pretty yeah. darn cool. All right. Just making sure I get all my edges and stuff. All right, I think I'm good with that. So what I'm going to do now is get ready to open all the doors up. And there might be just a little bit of a seam on, on, on the inside of it. I'm not going to paint the inside like in terms of inside the doors. I don't generally do that with cabinets. But for this right here, since it's exposed to the glass, I'm going to go ahead and probably go ahead and um, do the interior of this as well or do something here. I may do just the edges. I'm going to size it up here. And then when I do the small parts um, of the cabinet, this is what I use here, guys. So I have my brushes right here. If you've been watching my vlog, you know that I've shared this with you guys. And I'm actually, I took it with me even when I traveled. But this is where I like to keep my old, my like smaller brushes and things like that, okay? So if you want to get one of these as well, they're awesome. Um, just hold your like small brushes inside of it. It's really nice um, as a painter to be able to even look at that Matt's toothbrush in here. Look, babe, I've got your toothbrush. Nice. There, remember the video we did with yes. that? And you're like, is that my toothbrush? Yes. It may or may not be. All right, but no, I don't brush my teeth in it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, use it for uh, speckles. All right, but yeah, there you go. But it's uh, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, click Sonia's favorite things, and you have my list of like my favorite things that I love to collect as a painter. And this is really cool to hold those smaller brushes. So I'm just gonna take like maybe a brush like this out, dip it into my paint, open the doors, and then just kind of do the frames real quick, let them dry before I reclose them again. Okay, so that's. I don't know, Linda. We never actually did that. <laughs> that's pretty much what I'll do, right? So yay. Yeah, it's easy to come off glass, actually. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. As soon as I touch that. Listen, I'm going to take a little bit of spit right there. It'll come right off, right? There you go. No, 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 Nancy, easy, Nancy, easy. Nancy. No, you would just rub it on where you're going to use it by itself. You wouldn't mix it with the paint. What's that? The Chippy Hippie. Yeah. Go to YouTube, Nancy. Go to YouTube. Type in Chippy Hippie. 
Find our channel, Junk Monkey Paint Company, and you will see a live demonstration of me using it with the camera right on to the Chippy Hippie, using it with the milk paint, explaining how it works, and you can ex you can see with your entire eye, because we're probably well, all sick. visual people, <laughs> to be able to see what, what happens. So make sure you go check that out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna go ahead, open those doors, do the interior, do the sides, and then get started on the table. Four chairs. And uh, then it's all going to be a big surprise, not only for mom, but also for you guys as well. But I'll show you guys first, okay? You guys will get Nori. to see before she comes over Nori. more. Nor no, not Nori? Nancy. Yes, Nori? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's yes. probably no Nori. All right, yes. so I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete the rest of this now. Thank you, you for got, joining me. Got, yeah, I don't have a mirror anymore. To look I guess I got to pick a winner. Yes, please yeah, do that. Pick a winner. Yeah. All right. Not the yeah, first time. Go, Yesterday I had paint on my nose. Yeah. What is up with that? Yeah. I think I just always wipe my nose, right, when I, when yeah, I, I paint. Like, itchy black. nose. I think it's a little bit of black stuff on your Yes, nose. Matt just told me. Yes. Oh, yeah. man. What's a girl to do, right? What's a girl to do? All right, so Matt's going to holler at a name for $40 in banana bucks. Big. If your name is called, all you Big have to do is email bucks. us over at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Put winner, winner in the subject line. Do it before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. And you get to basically go... And fill your cart with forty dollars worth of junk monkey uh, paint pr products, right. so you can have fun yeah. with, right? Anything. Maybe a color to store. experiment with, whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. All right. Give us a name. Yeah, yeah. Give us a name. I'm give going through actually. It's and everybody, join us a little bit later today. Give me a couple hours. I'll have all this knocked out. It'll be done. It'll be completely done, and I'll show you the table, the hutch, the four chairs. It will be easy peasy. We're gonna make it happen, and it's gonna be beautiful, right? So bye bye brownie frowny. See you later. And I will do some distressing and poly. It's gonna be. Debomb.com. Today's winner yes. is Megan Callie. Megan! Congratulations, Megan! All right, make sure you email me. Make sure you email me before midnight tonight, all right? You got all the directions. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you on in a see few hours. hours. Yep. It was a big reveal. All right, yeah, absolutely. make a good one. We'll see okay. you. Bye. Mm, bye.